Hey guys, it's Cheryl and Sushi. Welcome to the second episode of our trick training series. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any episode. Today's episode is learning the trick called figure eight. It's when you stand with your legs apart and your dog weaves between your legs in a figure eight pattern. Let's do this step by step. Just a few reminders before we begin. This trick requires physical work for your dog, so be sure she's healthy. Your environment should be dog-proof, no distractions, and any items that may hurt your dog. And prepare lots of treats. Should be soft and in tiny pieces so they're easy to swallow. Start with your dog facing you and stand with your feet far enough apart so that she can walk through your legs. Make her feel comfortable walking through your legs first by dropping treats around your legs or lure her with a treat through your left leg. When she gets comfortable with it, you can move on to the next step. As your dog stands or sits in front of you, lower your left hand behind your back and reach forward through your legs to lure your dog through and around your left leg. As she finishes circling around your left leg, lower your right hand behind your back and between your legs. Lure her around your right leg this time. To prevent your dog from jumping for the treat, you can ask her to sit at your right leg for now. Reward and repeat. Now you continue on the next step by guiding your dog back through your legs from your right leg and finish at your left leg. Mark it and give the reward. Repeat. Introduce the verbal cue figure as your dog goes through your left leg, then give a reward. Then say the other cue 8 as your dog moves through your right leg, then give a reward. Do this with invisible treats as well. Gradually face out the treats and use less luring motion so your dog will rely on hand signals or verbal cues later on. Practice in different spots so your dog will generalize the concept. Avoid overwhelming your dog by immediately doing it in a distracting place without even mastering it at home. Remember, keep the training fun and short. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. See you in the next episode!